Time for another forest fact break, brought to you by the Oregon Forest Resources Institute. Today's topic, clear cutting. In order to have the wood and paper we use every day, we need to cut down and replant a lot of trees. In Oregon, this often involves harvesting many trees at the same time. We call it a clear cut. Some people object to clear cutting. Ooh. Yeah, we know, it's ugly. But they are replanted, and there's both an ecological and an economic reason for clear cuts. On the west side of Oregon, where clear cutting is most common, eight out of ten trees are Douglas fir. Douglas fir, and species like it, needs lots of sunlight in order to thrive. Without full sun, they have a hard time growing, and often won't grow at all. <coughs> Historically, full sun conditions happened after a large-scale disturbance, like a fire or a massive windstorm. Clear cutting imitates events like these to create an open area where the newly planted trees get all the sun they need. <sighs> clear cutting also makes sense economically. Large scale harvest allows you to enter a forest once to harvest the trees. People refer to this as economies of scale. The fewer times you enter a forest, the less it costs to harvest the trees, and the less you disturb forest soils, water quality, and wildlife habitat. In Oregon, we have laws that limit the size of clear cuts and make sure that wildlife, streams, and water are protected and that trees are planted soon after. Clear cutting. It may not be pretty, at least for a little while, but it's an effective way to get trees growing quickly to renew the forest. And that's the story on clear cutting. Check out more forest fact breaks or visit OregonForest.org. Yay, forests! <laughs>